Hey guys, I am back. Just gonna change a few things here. Actually, hold on. Actually, no, I think I already altered this. I did. Save splits as pet resort. I think I got everything set up. Okay, well, back to the Activision grind. Like I said. We've got a few more games to go before we're done. Maybe a little more than a few, but we're we're at least like we're around eighty percent done with Activision, and we're we're through Space Shuttle, which was rumored to be the big annoyance of the run. So you know we're getting that we're getting there. Yeah, I basically, I basically had to read a guide to get through the whole thing. I, I could not comprehend all of that at once. <laughs> and I didn't even bother with any of the patches either. Just did not seem worth it. But I, I, I did one complete run. I did land. I did make a successful journey. Felt accomplished enough doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot the name of the person whose guide I looked at, but there was like a game FAQ's guide that literally just explained every step. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna follow this, and that's all I needed to do. I, I don't know if you like I mean obviously since you are just now learning this. You didn't actually see, probably, but... Um, I actually failed on the landing. Literally, like, two feet above altitude, because I was just a little off on one of the... Uh, graphs. So I did the whole thing over again. <laughs> so, um... That was fun, but... Oh, you forgot the landing gear. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I didn't forget the landing gear. I just didn't... I, my, I was just off on the meter. Okay, well, let's continue. Timers start. Oh, wait. Timers not start. Hold on. I just realized, why am I starting from zero on this? Um, yeah, we are through. Let me, let me make sure that I have the right timer open. This is another reason why I can't wait to be done with this, even though it's been fun. Is I don't want to like I have to keep jumping between different timers. <laughs> I could probably be doing this better, but uh, yeah, this looks right. Okay. Okay, Tomcat could be kind of tricky. Gotcha. Okay, now let's try this again. There we go. It's 
yeah, let's look at what we're going to be playing today. Looks like we are doing Spider Fighter, Stampede, Star Master. Spider Fighter being the first one. Basically the rest of the games that have patches. So. Stampede is fun. Oh, cool. Yeah, never can escape the spiders, especially after frickin' Dungeons and Dragons, my god. This looks like another very basic shooter game. Uh, do I want to look at instructions? Protecting your fruit. Okay, additional um, life if you protect all your fruit. Point values are multiplied for experts, but we'll see how difficult the main game is before. Forty thousand points. Okay, I'm just giving it a shot. Ooh, it looks like you move really fast with this. <laughs> Okay, well, let's give it a shot, I guess. Man. Man. They come so fast. No one say that's what she said. Please. Okay, well, I got a life back at least. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of games back then that looked like Space Invader. God, that is so freaking. How do you plan for that? This could be a tough one. I mean, I'm getting extra lives back, but... Oh, come on! I shouldn't have lost a life for that. I, I destroyed them before they got me. I disagree with that.
The speed is accurate to the movement of actual bugs, to be fair. Eh. Funny. Funny, Mars. Funny. Accurate. Come on. Oh my god, I hate when they're that close. Why you gotta get so close in my space? No, not the watermelon. God, I hate that. I hate when they're so close to the ground. I feel like I'm not getting a lot of points for this. Yeah, I'm aware for yeah, I know for forty thousand the patch, but I'm only getting like 50. No. Is there something I'm missing? Like... Because I don't know, like, I feel like I'm not getting as many points as I should be. 
Let me look at the a new score. Master Ness 100. I mean, I guess technically the more they spawn out, the more points you'll get from that, but... There seems to be some way to fire faster. Oh, if you have, like, um, extra bug blasters... You get 500 points, apparently. I'm holding the A button, and this is as fast as I'm firing. Okay, see, I got a bonus 500 there. That should help. I just can't believe how fast this is. And this isn't even the expert game, too, which... Could always experiment with that to see if that's, like... The point values might be exponential enough, but... If I think this is fast already, expert's probably insane. I didn't get the 500 for that, though. There we go. Oh, you can't have, like, any more than... So... This is the max number of lives you can have. You just... You get bonus whenever you're at max. Interesting. God, I hate this. I hate how fast this is. It's like really stressing me out. Like, I, I hate when stuff is that fast. I'm holding A. Should I should I be mashing A? Okay, yeah. Mashing seems to be better. I don't really like mashing like this, but
One fourth of the way there. That's true, we haven't had a heavy button masher since the decathlon. This is hurting my fingers now, mashing. Oh, I hate... I can't keep matching like that. That's gonna be. Are you? Uh... So why are you saving fruit? Well, I mean, fruits, food. You don't want bugs to take away fruit. I think I kind of found a strat, but like it's still risky because if they shoot immediately, you're screwed. The button mashing hurts, though. It doesn't help that much if my hand's going to fall off. It's a vacation, yeah. Like that literally hurts my hand to match like that. Just because I play a lot of Mario Party and I'm decent at button mashing doesn't mean I like it.
sick of losing a life when I finish a wave. never I uh, I've, I've played like a little bit of Metal Gear Solid 1 but like only like the very beginning and I don't think I got far or did anything worth mentioning God, why do they have to start so close to the ground? Yeah, but here's the thing, Cirque. That's cheating. Two fast reactions. Ah, come on! That was even worse than the previous one. try something.
Just the left. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see how fast it is. I'm not seeing a di uh, minor, incredibly minor difference so far. Yeah. <sighs> Space invaders. I mean, it's not, it's neither technically, but it's more like Space Invaders. Asteroids were, was when you're just a triangle in the middle of the screen. Space Invaders is when you're at the bottom. How did I not get them for so long? It does seem like I'm past 10,000 a lot faster. Oh man, that guy almost... Ah! Come on. Is. They got me immediately, though. Holy crap. Oh, shoot! How? I'm already on 30,000? How the hell? Okay, well, this is definitely the strat, but, like, uh, man.
Got it! Thank God. Save the fruit. Oh no, I actually lost the fruit this time. Whatever. <laughs> Woo! Okay, done with that one. I put it on expert because the points were greater, even though that was faster and more annoying. Because it seemed like the other game didn't increase points at all. Okay, Stampede. Apparently this one's fun. This looks silly already. So you want to be a cowboy. Well, Greenhorn, it can be right tricky. So before you start to lasso them do doggies, you better learn the ropes. That's why you should read these instructions first. Read careful, like, then saddle up and head them out. Yeah. Slick game, sidekick. Oh, there's a lot of games. You score points by roping cattle each. Oh, I guess those are cattles. <laughs> Black Angus, 100 points. Number on the upper right of the screen, in case the player score. Number on the upper left side of the screen, in case the player Your stray count will increase by one. Unlock the patch of this game. 3,000. Okay. Okay, I see what I have to I have to get like a whole bunch of them. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. Look out for the cow skull. This has a really weird hitbox. Okay, the okay, I'm starting to get this. Blaylock, this was made back in the eighties. I don't think they were thinking that far ahead. Or that about that kind of stuff.
Man, he can lose everything really quickly. Now, this game's pretty cool. Like, I like the idea of it. It's just... You really have to optimize it very well. They're like, there has to be, like, some kind of strat for it, I think. You need to go for the black ones whenever they're on there because of the way they're worth... Yeah, it's like the hook of the lasso, or the ro the hole of the lasso is the hitbox. That's what's, like, really difficult about it. The black, there's, those black ones are really hard to get, and you don't know when they're going to appear, either. better i'm almost halfway there i think that says one two five nine so we're getting there I'm gathering it's better to be above the black one or below the black one the black one to be above you is better because then you can the hitbox is more generous on the top than it is on the bottom so I think if I just stay kind of towards the middle that should be, in theory, good. And then if it does that, I can pick it up pretty easily. I got like two black ones back to back, which definitely helped. No, I missed two. Oh, that's so annoying. Literally had no control over that. Ah, oh, man, that's kind of annoying that it's like kind of RNG a little bit, but... 
I, I do have a system down. I think I have a good system for this now. Literally got screwed over on that run. Now there's no time limit. There's no time limit at all. The time the um thing is like the the number on the left, the yellow number, every time you miss a cow, it that decreases. And if it hit if that hits zero, it's game over. So you have to like get everything pretty much. It's actually you can't push the black one, the black cows, the black Angus cows. Well, I mean, to an extent, they're your lives, I guess, but... They're your quote-unquote lives. But yeah, there's no time limit. I think the guide even said there's no time limit. It's just go until you get number. How do you get that one? If it's like that, that's like so unfair. I don't. Those random cow skulls have screwed me over too many times. I almost wonder if there's a strategy where you should just ignore, like, getting the, the orange ones or the red ones. Unless it's, like, the only, like, the only ones that are there. Because they move the slowest. So if you have to, like, catch up, it's not too bad. That probably is a strat, honestly. I see the combo of the cow running you over and the number decreasing. Ah, no. I got you. I, 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 got, I get where your confusion was. No, that's not what was happening. Ah!
Okay, I'm on the last... I'm on the last a hundred, or thousand. No, come on. Oh, it's 500 points away. I didn't miss that. Yeah, there was a black one that I missed, the black Angus that I missed. That clearly didn't help. Two back to back, I saw that. I would have failed though, because I would have missed two more because I got hit. Man, getting hit can be like so punishing in this. Because you need to go for those black ones when they appear. And if there's like yellow ones that are about to go to the screen, you can't really get those. See how easily I got screwed over there? Like... That is so crap. I hear that siren. I wonder if, like, a sports team in town won. For the school, I mean. Honestly. Okay, I'm over a thousand. That's good. Yeah, I think it's a sports thing. Yeah, because I hear honking in the background, so... looking outside and taking a little break. <clears throat> Not sure if you noticed it, but once a doggy is pushed to run ahead, they do begin to move mo to more quickly slow down. I have not noticed that. I don't... I'm not sure sure what to do with that information though, if I'm being honest, but it is good info. Come on! I disagree. I disagree. Like, I like this game idea. It's just... It's such RNG for the patch, it feels like. Like, you have to get, like, a really good setup for it to work. I 
Okay, at least... At least someone who can appreciate this game agrees that the patch is too high. That makes me feel a little better that, yeah, this is probably... I mean, on the one hand, I don't think it's necessarily overreaching because... You know, again, it's to get memorabilia from Activision. It's not like a, you beat the game sort of thing. But it seems like this is one that, like, in re-releases, they, they should have probably, like, lowered, maybe. I didn't know what to do. I made this set for the original A26 game, and even I don't think I can do it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just the RNG screwing me over. That's the only problem I'm having with this. Otherwise, I think it's really cool. It's a cool idea. Also, maybe an extra, like, buffer for every 500 points instead of 1,000. There was nothing I could have done there. Literally nothing I could have done. It was either... Get points, miss yellows, and then... Two black ones immediately, which is pretty...
think I might have noticed something else, but I don't want to, like, jinx my knowledge here. I think black ones, like, won't appear, or, like, a new form won't appear in the same row until the previous row is taken care of, maybe? That's kind of how I'm playing this right now. I'm trying not to clear, like, the bottom row. Got it. Magnus, is that a thing? Like, did I correctly assume that? Because that'd be pretty cool to... It might be... Okay, fair enough. So yeah, just like waiting to get the... Waiting to get like red ones on the bottom and top might be a good strat, because they'll always go slow. Okay, another patch. Uh, this one has four patches. But, but, oh wait, no, the Tennis has one too. I think Tennis has just beat the CPU though, so. We're almost out of patches to get, which is pretty cool. Star Master. You are alone in space. A critical and difficult mission awaits you. Carefully read these instructions. Blah, blah, blah. Misprint your star bases by destroying all invading enemy starfighters before they destroy you or your star bases. You must accomplish your mission quickly using the least amount of energy, sustaining the least damage. Succeed and you'll be rewarded. Fail and you'll be destroyed. <laughs> wow, what a, what a choice there. Yeah, that's what it seems like, Mars. This seems kind of complicated. Sector, your ship's laser gun sight will begin to flash, indicating the presence of enemy starfighters. No one may the sector have been destroyed. Your control console will turn from red to green. You should then refer to your galactic chart.
This is kind of like that tank game a little. Okay, so game one, 3,800. Wait, I think I pressed the wrong. Hold on, let me quit really quick. Okay, E is what we start in. I think I kind of get this now. Okay, so I need to go to a star base. Get my energy back. Okay. I think I, I think I got this now a little bit. This is honestly kind of cool. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, probably another flashing warnings. Okay. I only have two left to get, or three left to get, apparently. Oh, so those are meteors that I was getting hit by earlier. So we not get it? I don't know if I got it or not. 3,800. Did I really come up that short? Like. But I have four. But I had 4,839 though. There's two different E's. <laughs> that sucks that I was that short. Well, now that I know what I'm doing, I should be able to do it faster. Maybe that's... I don't know why I don't know why D's been blank the whole time. Unless I'm never supposed to let my energy get that low or something. Maybe that's it. A... 
I, I, I have no idea. Um. Oops. Now that E was low, like, worse. Okay. Let me see something. I mean, I got a patch at least, so... There's 17 enemies, normal speed. Energy required to warp between sectors of the galaxy. Stardate. Energy remaining. D was like damage control status. Probably. I'm, I, I might be fine with that. Oh, that D is just tells you what your like damage is, I guess. You are awarded 100 points for each enemy starfighter you destroy, or penalized 500 points for each star base destroyed. Oh, maybe those are like penalties.
At leader level, you destroy all enemy fighters 17 and 83 star dates, docking ones near your, your score. Bonus score 4,300. <clears throat> gotcha. So there's no points for energy, so you should try not to dock as much, then, I'm guessing. Oh, and this actually shows the maximum scores. I'll try one of the other levels, though, but yeah, I'm probably not gonna... I'll, I'll consider this complete for now, at, at the very least, but I do want to try... And maybe... I'm trying to think of what I'll do tomorrow. Yeah, getting hit doesn't gonna get... No, you might... Well, actually, if, you, if something gets damaged, I think it does. But... So I need 5,700 for this one. Kind of Star Fox-ish. Now the enemies will be more aggressive. That's the one thing. losing a bit more than I thought. Go to one of these. scream outside. That's kind of creepy. Come on! Get him! That, didn't take, that took longer than it should have. Um...
Uh, I'm almost out of energy, though. I should have uploaded a VOD. I think I did it right before I started streaming, so it may not be up yet. I don't know. I don't know, yo. I didn't upload any YouTube videos today because I said I wouldn't on my little announcement. Yeah, the meters are meteors are probably best just to avoid like on screen. I'm definitely getting a feel for this game. This honestly is a pretty cool game. Uh oh. I got damaged. Oh, I can't shoot. I can't shoot right now. Oh, crap. how that's the song they play honestly that's kind of funny i'll try again i'm probably not going to do any more games today Yeah, the, the strat is just to avoid the meteors. Don't try to shoot them down, because I just feel like I took more damage trying to get them. Obviously, when it comes to these guys, I probably will have to shoot them. Well, maybe not. Singles, probably just one single.
What? Come on! Oh, the aiming is not good on this. I'm saying it right now. I can probably do one more. I can probably do one more. Uh, I'll do one more. This is going to be risking it pretty hard, though. Okay. Um... Three more. Last one. I only docked twice and I only got hit once by a meteor. So theoretically this should be a good score, I hope. Yep, got it. I barely got it again though. Okay, so I got I lost 84 points from the uh star date. And I only I docked twice, right? I think I docked twice. <clears throat> so That's 200 from 6000. Or 200 from 6,000. Yeah, I think the math's, I think the math's right there. What was W again? I don't know. Okay, well, I got two patches out of this. <clears throat> Probably don't need to do any more because, like, Game 4 doesn't seem like... Well, I mean, Game 4 will be pretty tough because it's just Game 4, but, like... 
warping. I'm just trying to think about like the docking penalties, like how did that factor into here? Because from my understanding, the top the top is your score. It used to be an E, but that's that was the name of the game. It was in the E game. This is the L game, which was the second difficulty. I'm guessing the E was your remaining energy. W like I, I again I don't know what the I don't know what that necessarily mean. Did I lose points from like I don't know. I'm confused. Energy required to warp between... Oh, okay. So that was... A I needed a hundred warp to get between planets. That's what that was. Let me go. I just want to look at the scoring just to make sure I understand it. I'm overtaken. Okay, so leader, which was the second level. Okay. At leader level, you destroy all enemy fighters in 83 star dates. Docking once and losing one star base. So, they got the bonus score of 4, 300. All the enemies destroyed. So that's 6,000. Deduct from star dates. Deduct. Okay, I docked twice. I didn't lose a star base, though. I'm guessing I didn't lose one, then. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I get it now. I think I get it. Um, Might be another one I come back to. I mean, I can consider it complete for now, but... You know, like, I, I was actually having fun with that one. The flashing lights could do without, though, for sure. But, uh, next up, uh, tomorrow, we're gonna aim for the last patch that we're theoretically gonna consider completion, basically. So we'll do tennis, maybe Thwalker and title match, and then... Oh man, we're so close. We have how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're down to we're under ten games left. Barring a few, I might want to go back and revisit a rousing game of tennis. Yeah, indeed. Okay, let's pause our timers. Not a super long Atari session today, but. I mean, all the Atari sessions haven't been too long. I think the longest one I did was that one where I got obsessed with Dragster for like two hours. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and stop. Let me see if there's anyone I want to raid, as usual. I know Thab's streaming, but I raided him yesterday. So I guess we're gonna raid Alucard then. Yeah, we'll raid Alu. He literally just started. <laughs> he literally just started. You know what? That's that's perfect. He's playing some Lala Milana 2. Uh, no spoilers if you know anything about the game. Yeah, I spent a lot of time with Dolphin too. That's true. In my mind, I'm overtaken, and a 
banana. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good rest of the day, rest of the weekend, if I don't talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be back. We'll uh, do some more Activision. We'll do a jigsaw puzzle, and we'll start heading towards the finish line for this game. It's pretty exciting. This has been Slim Kirby. Thanks for coming out, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.